Hey there, this is James Bernard. Today we'll continue in another episode of the thrilling series Medical Experiments. We're going to combine the best out of classical and electronic music. Today's experiment will be combining a cello, a voice tuner, and a lot of sound destruction. First, we'll add an NNXT. Then, we'll open the patch browser and go to the orchestra sound bank. Here's where we'll find all of Reason's orchestral sounds. Let's select the cello from the string section and VCL long mezzo forte expression. All right, let's begin. In the global control section, we'll move back the attack knob to minimum and the decay knob to maximum. On the NNXT programmer, we'll go to select all zones and select all the NNXT samples. Let's increase the amp envelope sustain to maximum. Now the cello will have an immediate attack and keep a constant level. First step done. Now, let's add the voice tuner. We're going to use Neptune for this job. Given the fact that we're already using the samples of a cello, we won't have any tuning problems. However, we will use the formant section in order to change the voice of the cello. Let's move the formant knob up to 58. Second step, done. Time for some sound destruction. We'll create a pulverizer demolition and select reset device. Now let's set the squash knob to 24 to keep some compression, add dirt to add distortion. We'll change the filter to comb and move the cutoff frequency to around 331.5 Hertz. This will give us a more metallic sound. To finish up the destruction of this beautiful cello sound, we'll create a Scream 4. Reset the device. How about some bit crushing? Let's set the resolution to 64, the rate to 111, and damage control to 73. We'll activate the body to simulate a resonant body which will modify the sound's timbre. Let's select body type B. Lower the resonance to 34. And set the scale level to 7 to lower the body's size. Now let's increase the auto gain to 93 so that the scale's level increases when the signal's level does as well. Now let's go back to the pulverizer. The tremor is an LFO on steroids. We're going to use it to give life to this new creation. We'll keep the same basic sine wave, send 66% from the tremor to the filter to affect its cutoff frequency. Let's press sync so that the tremor adjusts to the project's tempo and activates spread to create a wider stereo effect. Increase lag to the maximum amount so that the tremor's waves flow gently between one another. And lastly, let's go to the rear of the rack. We're going to use the tremor section to control not only the filter, but also to control Neptune's formant. This way, the formant of the instrument, previously known as cello, will move simultaneously with the filter. And our experiment is complete. In the description, you'll find a link to download the combinator that contains this patch. Stay tuned to our channel for more tutorials and info about Von Kellerman. And don't forget to use the comment section for ideas or experiments that you'd like to try out. After all, what could go wrong? I'm James Bernard, and I'll see you next time.